hello 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 guys welcome to my channel my name is miracle mimi for short if this is the first time seeing my face you are welcome so our next video is from candice owens podcast and she said i'm devastated wow nikki Haley suspends her campaign is that what someone is supposed to be devast devastated about guys i am happy that she has to suspend her campaign because maybe i think i see maybe her campaign is not is is about or she is about to crumble or she see that trump is winning mm. let's check it out some very sad news get your tissues out it's very sad nikki haley uh has suspended her presidential campaign and yeah, it's a lot to go through. It's a lot to process. I'm here for you. If you need to take a second, if you're driving, why don't you pull over? It's okay to cry on the side of the road. Everyone's doing it. You can trauma dump on TikTok right now. Uh, fortunately, in her concession speech, all two of her fans were there. All two of her voters were there. Uh, but she did say that she was ceding the nomination to Trump after he pretty much destroyed her in Super Tuesday. And she had some some words of inspiration to all of us, really just kind of saying what this campaign was and what it was about in the retrospect. Take a listen to what Nikki Haley said. Our national debt will eventually crush our economy. A smaller federal government is not only necessary for our freedom, it is necessary for our survival. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she just say something about the debt? and that we need a smaller, a smaller government. That seems weird. Uh, did Nikki Haley see herself on the campaign trail? Has she, because I, I didn't feel like that was someone that wanted to shrink government or shrink the debt in any capacity. Let's, let's jog our memories and jog her memory in the process. This is Nikki Haley regarding Iran, who she wanted to bomb. Take a listen. You don't play the tit for tat with Iran. What you do instead is when they do this, you go right at the heart yes, of their infrastructure. You hit their ability to go and even go hurt go an American go soldier. Go if that doesn't work so with Iran, without, if the, yes, you take out their infrastructure. Trust, if that doesn't work, then that, you go that, after the leadership that, that is, in the um, IRGC and make sure you go after the leadership in Iran. To, to, to bomb, bomb, bomb. America. Maybe maybe bombs well, are free. I don't know. And then if that doesn't America. work, bomb some more. And then there was, of course, the case of Ukraine when one young woman was trying to make this work. How are we going to be America first, not spend any money, but also bomb and supply funding for other countries? Here's what Nikki had to say. Please explain to us how you will put the United States first. And additionally, I'm wondering how you can continue to send money to Ukraine where they're really not accounting for how they're spending all of our billions of dollars. And just to support Ukraine, it only costs three and a half percent of our defense budget. That's it. Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen, it's just gonna cost uh, three and a half percent of our defense budget. So, you know, approximately $56.7 billion. That's it. That's it. We're just gonna give Ukraine $56.7 billion. What are you complaining about, you guys? Get to work. And by the way, it wasn't just uh, Ukraine, of course. There was more countries. It wasn't just Iran that needed to be bombed. It wasn't Ukraine that needed our money. It was also, of course, Israel. Here she is again. Take a listen. You know, the one thing I'll say is America has to get this right. The world is on fire, and America has to get this right. The right thing to do is we were there for Ukraine because it's a pro-American, freedom-loving country that was invaded by a thug. And that thug has said that once he takes Ukraine, Poland and the Baltics are next. Those are NATO countries, and that's about war. We're about preventing war. So you've got Ukraine. Then you have Israel. And we see what's happening in the Middle East. We do both. If you leave Ukraine, then the next step is they're going to want to leave Israel. We already accepted defeat in Afghanistan. That was horrible, the way it happened. We cannot leave Ukraine. You can do both. And we should do both. It's the right thing to do. Now, some of you guys may be confused and trying to work through what she just said, so I will explain it to you very slowly, okay? In order to prevent war, you have to go to war. And like in Afghanistan, then you have to lose the war, get out of the war, and immediately jump into funding another war between Ukraine and Russia. And if you don't do that war, then Israel can't go to war, so we have to fund that war. So the best thing to do to prevent the war is to go to war and fund the wars everywhere. And it was very clear to me. And I love her. I really love her. And by the way, when we're done bombing Iran in the war, we're, we're going to bomb the head of Iran in some more war. 
And I don't think she was clear enough on Israel. So let's hear her again. Support Israel, whatever they need, whenever they need it, no questions asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Netanyahu calls and he's just like, listen, I just need all of it. I, uh, the defense budget is $3 trillion, and I'm going to need all trillion, all, tr all the trillions. I just said, what, no questions asked. Netanyahu, what do you need? Honestly, what do you need? Do you need slaves? Because we will start exporting Americans to just build, build, and do whatever you need in Israel. No questions asked. And if you asked questions, then you don't really understand Nikki Haley at all because she doesn't answer those questions. She just repeats stuff. And even when it doesn't make sense, at least she looks us in the face and tries to sell it to us anyways. And there will be never, ever, ever be a better clip that came out of this election. And this is why I am going to miss her than when she described in a sensible way what can happen to you if you're on TikTok. Take a listen to Nikki Haley. We really do need to ban TikTok once and for all. And let me tell you why. For every 30 minutes that someone watches TikTok every day, they become 17% more anti-Semitic, more pro-Hamas based on doing that. I, I'm so happy she shared that fact. Obviously, it must be true. Now, maybe you're a person and you're listening, you're like, I, I love Jewish people, I love my Jewish friends. Well, then you stay off TikTok because if you jumped on TikTok for three hours, you would go from a person who loved your Jewish friends to Adolf Hitler in a, just a couple of hours. So you heard her, ladies and gentlemen. And so the reason why I'm going to miss Nikki Haley is because this was actually the most relatable presidential campaign that we have ever seen. Nikki Haley, she was just girl mathing real hard the entire time. She didn't even understand that she was losing. She didn't know how the votes were working or tabulating or being calculated. She thought she was winning the whole time. And that, my friends, is why I love her. I'm sorry, Nikki Haley. Oh, guys, like, she fin she, thank God she finally stepped down because it's better late than never. Like, I keep wondering why people kept saying she's an expert in foreign affairs because I don't believe she knows what she was doing. Yes, I don't believe it because if she was so perfect in foreign affairs, then the way she, the way she could have handled America, hmm, it could have, it could, it could like, I just noticed that she was just grumbling up and down. She thought she was winning, like, huh? <laughs> like she really, really thought she was winning. It's, I, I'm just so happy when I just saw this. I just pray let her just step down. She should just step down because to me, she doesn't really know what she's doing. She sometimes sometimes she, when she's talking, it, I, I, I used to feel like, is this really my gender? Like, is this really, 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 really mm, mm, Nikki Haley? Like, what she's saying? Ah. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you like or you, or you are happy that uh, 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 Nikki Haley suspended her campaign. Let me know in the comment section, like, watch, and subscribe to my channel, and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.